Hello everyone, welcome back to Space for Edit. My name is Cynthia, lovely to see you here. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and click the bell to get notified when any new video comes out. And if you already have, amazing, thank you for your support. I wish I could give you a big, big hug. Every each of one of you who have subscribed and liked and shared any of my content or follows on social media, it means the world to me. Thank you so much. So I hope 2019 has started off very well for you all. I hope you're taking all the little tiny steps that you need to take in order to get to the a big goal or maybe you have more than one goal. Nothing wrong with that. Good luck with it. I hope you are on your way. Which actually leads me to the theme of today's video. My goal for 2019 was to collaborate more to basically reach out to as many people as possible and just see what happens. Because I really do believe that if you don't change anything about your day-to-day -day life or the way you approach life, then nothing will ever change. You can't expect new things to happen to you if you keep doing the same thing. So I decided to switch it up, collaborate more, reach out, and hopefully something amazing will eventually happen. And it did. Today I want to talk about the brilliant, brilliant event that I got myself into. Um, and that is called Sound Women Liverpool. I'll leave all the links to our beautiful event down in the info box. So please go and follow us if you're interested. So to start off, I just really wanted to give you a quick brief intro on how I ended up being a part of the Sound Women team. The story is quite simple, to be honest. Because of the good old Facebook, the event just popped up on my feed and immediately I thought, well, this is something that I could get into. Power to the women, supporting each other, collaborating. I was like, right, I need to get onto it. So I messaged the organizer, Katie, and she kindly replied and invited me to the team meeting, I think a couple of weeks later, because this was around Christmas time. So after Christmas, after New Year's, we all got together and I just got to meet the most brilliant women ever. We all just brought something different to the table and I think that's where the magic happened. Everyone just had kind of a different perspective or different strength to sort of bring to the team. And of course, as you might have guessed, I sort of took the role of setting the scene and just making it nice and welcoming, add some magic sparkle to it. And to be honest, the way that the whole event kind of, or the whole design came together was very organic. Everyone was just kind of throwing out ideas and I kind of took all those little bits and pieces and just put them together and almost like, you know, put the puzzle together and it made this whole big lovely picture. So the actual part of the day where I came in with sort of my skill set was the evening part. We had five guest speakers, each of them covering different topics like self-care and well-being. We had vision boards, we had social media awareness, we had a lady talking about crystals and kind of challenging that sort of inner peace. It was brilliant, the topics were great. So what we had was groups of five to six people and they would spend about 20 to 25 minutes on each station. So my task was to sort of dress the set and just make sure that each station has got like a different vibe. And the actual space was full of character already. We had this sort of a basement area where there was exposed brickwork, there was wires and lighting and all that already going on. So that also helped me to really kind of bring it together and kind of create that bit of magic. So that's sort of it. it. It really is amazing what we managed to do with teamwork, with very, very, very low budget, with putting all our efforts in and just really wanting to make this work and given this lovely concept of sound women at home and a place to be. So I'll stop rambling now and yeah, I'll see you after the video.
So what do you guys think? Oh, what was your favorite bit? What do you think would have been done better? I did try to vlog and I failed. Oh my god, this camera is heavy. I really need a thing, a stick. What do you call it? A okay, stick. Okay, right. Speak to you soon, speak to you later when I get everything ready and we can pack for tomorrow. Yeah, it's, it's not my strongest side at the moment. Eventually, I'll get there. But yeah, back to the event. I absolutely love how it turned out and the feedback from everyone on the day was just brilliant and to see people actually using the space and connecting during these talks it was just something else it was really and, and that's why i love event design and that's why i love design in general we sort of provide these spaces and we set the scene and we set the mood and the atmosphere and people just fill them and they bring their own character to it. Oh, that was lovely. We've got big plans for sound women. If you are a local, make sure you check the link in the description box below. If you want to get involved or if you just want to come and visit next time, we'll be there, we'll be waiting for you. So that's it for today's video. Nice, short and sweet, but I hope it was enough to get yourself inspired and get your bum off that seat or of that computer screen and go and collaborate and just do things that you feel like you could do and that you feel like you want to do. Actually, a question for you guys, what is the one thing that you could do right now to change up your day-to-day -day life or to go out and collaborate or what is the one thing that you've always thought or would be fun to do so comment that below let me know i love chatting with you guys whether it's on here or over on instagram in dms if you do want to have a chat anything related to design feel free to send me a message i always reply that sort of wraps up today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video